about your successes and where you've reached. Tell us something where you failed. So, you know, the thing about failure when you're doing a startup mm. is it's... Uh, you, you, you fail when you quit. Until then, you're simply not successful yet. Wow. So, the secret of very many successful entrepreneurs is persistence. Achha. Ultimately, good things will happen. That's one secret. Right. The second secret is that if you have survived hmm. to see the next month, right. you have succeeded. Right. Okay, because hmm. in the beginning, uh, it's about survival. Correct. So keep your costs low and be frugal. So no matter what revenue you get, Correct. your costs will they meet your costs. Correct. And then you succeeded. Correct. So I won't say we had any big failures hmm. because we are very, very careful how we spend money. Achha. Okay. So, um, what according to you could be the dysfunctions of a team or of an enterprise? I think uh, the real problem happens, starts when people stop communicating. Achha. Okay, their expectations and uh, of each other. Uh, and people, if they lose respect hmm. for one another person. Or let's say somebody is not pulling his weight, not working hard enough, not right. putting the kind of hours, uh, you know, doesn't have the kind of capabilities the other person has. Right. Uh, or there's a perception that he doesn't have it, hmm. right? And that's when problems start. Hmm. Hmm. According to you, uh, what is the difference between the startup ecosystem as far as India is concerned and as far as the West is concerned? So I think in many ways we're trying to mimic the West. Achha. Okay. But the truth is that uh, the Indian market is a lot smaller than let's say US or China. Achha. So therefore the kind of money you raise uh, should be proportionally smaller. Hmm. Otherwise you won't be able to service that equity Achha. because you, your company may not become that large because right. the Indian market is smaller. Right. Now, what has happened is that there are so many investors who have come in Correct. that uh, I think very many companies have been overcapitalized, Achha. which leads to its own problems mm -hmm. because when, when companies you know, run on investor money rather than customer money, mm. uh, you can afford to make mistakes and the market won't correct you and you can build the wrong business models. Wow. Example. <laughs> well, I mean, um, the examples are, will be, I guess, coming, uh, coming in uh, you know, next couple, next few years. Achha. I don't want to name anybody here, but okay. they're all my friends. But right. but it's important that you run on customer money beyond a point, hmm. as opposed to investor of money. Of course, right? That's the basic principle of a business. That's right. Per se, unfortunately, I think the younger generation is looking at suddenly overnight successes of valuation of businesses and raising funds. So, the other thing is that look, you don't succeed when you raise money. Right. Or you get a valuation on that. That business. is not what success That's is all about. Success is when you have a sustainable business. Right. Which is defensible. Correct. Where you've built a product IP, uh, which is you know getting customers, getting repeat right. customers. Sure. At unit economics that are positive, that, are, that, are, that makes sense. Hmm. That's when you can say your business has succeeded. Right, sure. In 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 terms of role models, I personally feel like I was discussing with you that we're probably not setting the right kind of role models for our kids to emulate. It's more about uh, you know the kind of funds that you can raise, you know the kind of uh, momentum you can gain as far as that is concerned. Let it alone the basic principles of business. Are you? Do you feel we're setting the right role models? Well, look, the market has a way of disciplining people, hmm. right? So if somebody's consistently doing the wrong thing, right, and continues to do the wrong thing, right, uh, the market beyond a point will not let that company survive. Hmm. Okay, so this is all work in progress. A jury's out. Hmm. Uh, you know, it may look like we're not we're setting the wrong role models, right? But the truth is, if those role models are wrong, hmm. they will not survive beyond a point. Right, right, right. And ultimately, the market will sort it out. So I think it's a question of waiting. Hmm. Hmm. So if you were to define success for me again, I'm coming back to that. What would it be? Because the yardstick right now, what we're using is primarily monies. Well, I would say creation of an organization, an institution that outlives its founders. Achha. Okay. That's, that's enduring value. Okay. You know, the most, the, the most valuable company, not the most valuable, but the, I think the longest living company will be 100 years old. Hmm. Yeah. And is there, a, 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 you feel a, years old. a sense of importance for uh, the DNA of the company to have a value system interwoven beyond making money? Absolutely, because uh, you see, when you're doing a startup, hmm. okay, you will run into trouble more than once. Achha. There will be several times when you're near death. Achha. Right? Uh, that is more or less guaranteed. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it always happens now at those times if you don't have a way of keeping the team together in the business you know hmm. uh, you will not be able to uh, run that company hmm. so and that binding force and glue very often is the entrepreneur or founders themselves hmm. more importantly it's the vision mission hmm. it's the values hmm. it's the infectious enthusiasm that they they bring to the table hmm. Hmm. uh so you definitely need more than money hmm. so if i were to ask you five apps that you can't do without what would those be uh I think WhatsApp definitely hmm. is something I use all the time. Let me just check my phone. Okay. I think Zomato I use often. We look at our own apps often just to see they're working okay. Okay. Uh, 99 Acres, Jeevan Sathi, Nokri. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But no mandate at Info Edge to order from Zomato. No, only. but we order anywhere, right? Because you want the food. <laughs> uh, I sometimes use Facebook. Um, there's a very interesting app I've got called Wiki Art. Wow. Which. Uh, just just a you know it's a aggregation of uh, famous artists in painting that's okay. nice so you know you can say if you want to check out say van gogh you can see van gogh you can and there's an explanation about that piece of art there is it uh no but that will be a good improvement for them to do so go third wow okay, 1862 So are you looking into investing into art? Uh no. I mean I don't I don't do that but um, I enjoy and appreciate. Okay. Good painting. That's cool. So I would love to know what inspires Sanjeev Bhikshanani. What are the books that you read? Well, uh tell you truthfully I'm not reading as much as I used to. Okay. Uh you know i am consuming more and more content on on digitally right uh but having said that i think uh, i'd like to read about history uh i'd like to read mostly non fiction but not management books i think um, you know i've been there done that mhm uh so my all time favorite i read some fiction my all time favorite author is uh, john le carre acha and uh, of course his trilogy about george smiley uh, you know Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, Honorable Schoolboy, and Smiley's People. Right. And over the last twenty, twenty-five, thirty years, I must have read that at least seven, eight times. Wow. So I think uh, that's a multi-layered uh, piece of work, and uh, every time I read it, I, I discover something new which I had not noticed earlier. Right. Uh, I think, uh, and I've just ordered on Amazon. I think what might be John Le Carre's last book because he's now in his late eighties. Okay. It's called The Legacy of Spies. Okay. I mean, it's uh, releasing uh, next couple of days. So okay. I've already ordered it. Okay. It should come in a week's time. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. So, so a question comes to my mind: um, the difference between Sanjeev Bhikshandani of the 1990s and 2017. I think I lose my temper a lot less. Acha. Uh, I think I'm a lot more patient with people. Um, I think uh, I take more and more things as they come. Okay. uh i panic a lot less when things are not going my way okay so it's all about growing up and maturing and what would you advise your younger self if you if you were to give yourself an advice um it'll be all right uh, it'll be all right it's okay it's fine you'll get there <laughs> chill <laughs> there's a song by billy joel right um, called vienna okay um you know and the first few lines are slow down you crazy child <laughs> you're so ambitious for a juvenile wow <laughs> uh and the you know the 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 this uh vienna waits for you vienna waits for you so what is premium mean to you so premium is a standard uh model for a lot of internet companies where you give away a lot of stuff free of cost hmm. and for some stuff you charge which right. means that you get a whole base of users hmm who come in for the free stuff mm. and some of them pay and it works well it can work it's working in jeevan sathi mm. it's working in merit nation mm mm-hmm. okay. another company we invested in right so it can work it has worked okay. um, and if you do it right it can work exit strategies so typically we don't uh, that's not something i look at because okay. uh, when we enter a business right. uh, we don't enter with the intent to exit correct so we intend to stay build a business so, right so Okay, MVP. Uh, so I've never used that jargon, uh, MVP. All and the first time I heard it, I said, "What is that?" <laughs> okay, uh, look, you got to produce something the customer wants. Okay, and obviously, common sense is that you'll produce 
a minimum sort of thing which the customer wants because you don't have money so you can't build a Taj Mahal on day one. Right. And you keep on improving it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think more or less we pretty much sorted. Thank you so much for taking the time for being here, Sanjeev. Thank you so much. <laughs>